Hey guys, my name is Timo, and today I want to do something that a lot of you have been requesting for some time now, and that is to bring back the terrible weapon challenge. The way it works is pretty simplistic. You guys recommend a weapon loadout that's awful, and then I do my best to somehow get halfway decent gameplay with it. And so to start us off today, we're going to be using the P90 in Rainbow Six Siege with the Iron Sights Suppressor and the Laser Sights. About five hours into getting gameplay for this, I realized that I may have made a mistake because this is a nightmare loadouts. The P90 itself, even with optimized customization, isn't all that great. I mean, it does have a high rate of fire, which is nice. It's got a lot of rounds in its magazine, but because it just doesn't have a high damage output and it's got a substantial amount of recoil, especially when you compare it to the MP5, there just isn't a lot of incentive in my eyes to use this gun, even if you are using the appropriate customization setup. As soon as you are using Using the iron sights though, it goes from a bad gun to probably one of the worst guns I have ever had the displeasure of using in any video game ever. There is so much metal in front of your screen that trying to acquire a target, just simply trying to acquire a target and then line a headshot and win a firefight feels nigh on impossible in some situations. Uh, you guys are going to notice throughout today's video that when I try and line up a kill on someone, half the time I can't even see the enemy when I squeeze the trigger. The iron sights are that large and obtrusive that I don't even know what I'm shooting at. Even if the enemy is a medium distance away, let's say 15 to 20 meters, because the iron sights are so large, when I'm lining up the headshot, it's like, all right, I, I don't see them anymore. Uh, let's kind of squeeze the trigger and hope that I, I secure the kill, because if I don't, the recoil is going to go all over the place. I'm not going to have any idea where they went. They're going to realize that they're getting shot at, whip around, use their ACOG scope to quickly acquire their target, which of course is me, and then immediately take me out. I cannot tell you how frustrating it is to have that happen over and over and over again simply because of the iron sights. To make matters worse, we're also using the laser sights. I can't fathom why anyone in their right mind would want to use this attachment on their primary weapon, unless you're playing as a shield wielder. If you're playing as Blitz and you want a little bit better hit fire accuracy, then I understand why you would want to slap this onto one of your pistols. But for all of the other primary weapons in the game, this is basically a death sentence. I cannot fathom how many times I died simply because I had this customization on my weapon and there was no way for me to turn it off. Even when you're aiming down sight, it still is on. It's still active. There's no way of turning this off. And so when I was rounding corners and trying to catch the enemy by surprise because I am using the suppressor, the enemy knew where I was coming from because there's this gigantic red beacon in front of my weapon giving the enemy all the information that they need to know exactly where I'm located. Uh, I even tried to minimize the downsides of it. When I rounded corners and I was moving around the map, I did my best to kind of position my laser sight so that it wasn't sticking through the doorway. I'd kind of aim at the door frame. But the problem with that is that if the enemy kind of entered the room at that moment, I'm now having to adjust to where their head is going to be, and that's going to give them that slight advantage to be able to take me out. And so it's like, why in the world would you ever want to use this? On top of that, its benefits, the hip fire accuracy really isn't all that great. I think I got maybe one or two hit fire kills the entire like five, six, seven hours that I was trying to get gameplay for today's video. If the laser sight made your weapon a hit fire machine and you're able to snipe people at a fair distance away, like a medium distance with that insane hit fire accuracy, I could see why maybe you would want to use this on some of your guns. But because it hardly gives you any benefit, I mean, it really doesn't increase your hit fire accuracy that substantially. I just I don't really have no idea why anyone in their right mind would want to use this attachment. And so it's, it's on top of this and the iron sights that truly made this entire challenge an absolute nightmare. And then finally we have the suppressor. This was more of a mixed bag. I did have the benefit that I was a little bit more silent. I was able to get some sneaky kills off on the enemy that I probably wouldn't have normally been able to achieve if I didn't have this attachment on. But on the flip side, it also reduced my damage significantly where I was just kind of pumping bullets after bullets in the enemy, not of course getting the headshot because of everything that I just talked about earlier. And that gave the enemy plenty of opportunity to whip around and take me out. And so while it wasn't the worst aspect about this challenge, it definitely was 
wasn't something that I was able to lean on or take advantage of to really rake in the kills and take out the enemy. And so overall, this has to be one of the worst loadouts that you can use in Rainbow Six Siege. Unless you're running around a sledge with this hammer and only going for melee kills and only melee kills, this truly has to be one of the least effective ways at taking out your targets. And so if you're looking for a challenge or you just hate yourself, then I highly recommend that you give this a whirl. Uh, but yeah guys, that is what it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you would like me to do more of these style of videos. Do you want me to continue with the terrible weapon challenge? Do you think I should completely bag it and kind of just let it wither away? Is there a weapon loadout that you would like me to try next? Let me know down below. Uh, but yeah guys, until tomorrow, have a good one and take it easy.